Hello friend, welcome to MKids. I hope you're really going to enjoy today with us. Let's begin. So when the biblical writers speak of the heart, they are not talking about the literal organ that pumps blood within your body. They use the word heart to figuratively refer to a lot of things. So what are those things? Let's explore it a bit. The heart refers to our thoughts, our will, our decisions. The heart also refers to our desires, what the things that we really want. The heart refers to our emotions and our moral compass, our intentions, and it refers to our character, to who we really are. It's the center of our being. Our heart is the center of our being. So, how's it going in your control room, in your heart? After all, this is where everything happens that steers your life in, di in a different direction. This is where the real you features. The good news is, Jesus is super interested in the state of your heart in the state of your control room. He's not an angry supervisor that wants to rip everything apart in order to get it right. No, on the contrary, he is the healer who comes to restore and to make new so that you can truly be just you, so that you can see him, experience him. So listen to what the Bible says about your heart. Let's read together. Matthew 5 verse 8. You're blessed when you get your inside world, your mind and heart put right. Then you can see God in the outside world. If your control room, your heart is sorted out, the whole you can function better and you can tackle what you need to do in life much more successfully. It makes sense that it works that way, right? Jesus invites us to really realize that purity of heart can open our eyes to see Him. When our hearts are pure and clean, then there are not all kinds of things that distract us and keep us busy in the wrong ways. Consider this. If your heart is full of wrong thoughts and desires, such as that you want to get someone back for what he did to you, or that you hate your parents because they took away your phone, or that you want to take chances with a relationship that uh, your parents do not approve, then you have much less time to think about what is good and beautiful and right. When your heart is not pure, it's difficult to turn your eyes to how Jesus is working in your life. You are taken over by these thoughts and desires you are sort of captured by them. Wrong sinful thoughts and desires easily creep into all of our control rooms, into our hearts. It's almost like stowaways, you know, those passengers who never have been in your control room. You often do not even immediately realize they are there. It is really important to examine every now and then what is going on in your heart and how your heart is doing. This is what the psalmist does too. He simply asks God, examine my heart, God. Know my heart. Test me and know my thoughts. He wants to be able to see and hear God and follow his advice and direction. He knows that his life can only be healthy and good if he can experience God in his life. Lent is a time when we look inside ourselves and as we want to turn our lives to Jesus anew, we want to get to know Him more deeply, follow Him more closely and truly love Him as we see how He loves us. Bring your heart to Jesus and ask Him to help you clean your heart. He will help you. He is eager for your heart to be pure so that you can really see and experience Him. Do this by simply praying every morning. 
Jesus, look into my heart. Show me where I have sinful thoughts and desires. Clean my heart so that I can see you and experience you. This prayer will stay on the screen for a half minute. Pray this once or twice on your own. each one of us. Thank you that there's nothing that we can do that could rip us from your love. And thank you, Lord, that you care about what's in our hearts. Today, we want to just come and give our hearts to you. Help us to live a life that you want us to live in this world every day where we move, Jesus, so that we can experience you and that other people can also experience you through us. I thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Bye, guys. Enjoy the week. <laughs>